the, the numbers on the on the right hand side here. So we have forty plus twenty, okay, plus fifty five, okay, uh, plus the twenty five, okay, uh, plus the five, minus the fifteen, minus the five here. In total, we have there's one hundred and twenty five in total here. So now what we have is one hundred and twenty must be equal to 125 minus how many people there is that studies biology and computing. Okay? Which tells us very clearly that 120 okay, minus 125 must be equal to minus B intersection with C. In other words, minus 5 is equal to minus B intersection with C. Okay? Which tells us that B intersection with C, okay, so therefore B intersection with C must be equal to 5. Okay? So, that's all of our information. So let's fill it in on our Venn diagram. Okay, let me do the Venn diagram here a little bit bigger. Okay, let's do the Venn diagram here a little bit bigger. Okay, and hopefully this, hopefully we see this a bit clearer. Okay, so let's say there's the set A. Let's say there's the set B. And let's say there's the set, there's the set C. And there's the complement outside here, and this is a universe. Okay, so this is A, B, C. So let's fill in all of our information into the set, okay, into all the different room locations. We always start with the with the I suppose the most center piece of information. Okay? The most center is this piece in here, A intersection, B intersection, C. That's how many study all three. Well there's five people that study all three. So there's five in there. Okay. What about, let's, now we go for the pairwise intersections. A intersection with B. How many study algebra and biology? Well, algebra, algebra and biology, there's 15. But we've already accounted for five of them here, so there must be 10 in that part of the room. Okay, see now we have 15 in total in A intersection with B. Let's do A intersection with C. How many study algebra and computing? Well, algebra and computing, there's five. But we've already accounted for five of them, so there must be zero in this section of the room. Okay. How many study biology and computing? Well, biology and computing, there's also five of them. So there, that means we've already accounted for five in here. So there must be also zero in that part of the room. Okay. How many study algebra in total? Well, there's 40 people study algebra in total. So in total, there needs to be 40 here. But we've already accounted for 15 of them. So there must be 25 people in that part of the room. How many study biology in totality? There's 20 people study biology. We've already accounted for 15 of them. So there must be 5 in that part of the room. How many study computing in totality? Well, there's 55 study computing in totality. So there must be 50 people in this part of the room. And finally, what about, the, what about this complement of the union of all three of these? Yeah, well, we know that there's 25 that study none. So there's 25 people outside. Okay. And actually, if you do this here, and we actually add this up, there should be, the size of the universe needs to be equal to 120. Well, let's count the universe. We've got 25 plus 10 gives us 35. We've got plus 0 gives us 35, plus 5 gives us 40. 45, still 45. Add on the 50 to the 45, yeah, that gives us 95. And add on 25 to the 95 gives us 120. So the cardinality of the universe is 120 as we would expect it to be okay so guys like in this particular example this was a nice example because there was one or two small anomalies here the two zeros was it was nice to see that actually happen here yeah okay because it stresses a particular point now i have heard students say to me mm. now and we have to be careful because i suppose the linguistic interpretation yeah okay of when we speak you know is all contextual it's all relative to context so actually when i talk about 40 students taking algebra i don't mean 40 students that only take algebra if i was to say that what i'd be saying is 40 students take algebra and not biology and not computing that would then be this part of the room here if that makes sense okay uh, so let's just keep that in mind uh, but anyway once again guys uh, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert uh, with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and I hope this video uh, another video in our series uh, on set theory dealing with the principle of inclusion exclusion and a nice example a three set scenario example uh, I hope this was somewhat uh, intuitive but yeah, once again I, more importantly I hope it was actually helpful for you uh, so once again thanks for, thanks for watching okay, bye bye